In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own AI songs using a tool called Udio. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am at Udio.com, and you can sign up for Udio in a variety of ways, including through your Google account. But once you've got that account, just go here to the upper right and click Create. It takes you to a screen where you can do one of two things. You can either start by describing your song, or you can start by uploading some audio. Maybe you've already recorded yourself singing or playing an instrument. You could start by uploading that audio. Notice that that particular feature is limited right now just to paying subscribers. That's okay. For now, I'll just go here to describe my song. So I'll just go ahead and type my description of the song I want created. And I'm a big fan of 80s new wave and synth pop music. For example, the band OMD. I recently attended one of their concerts and it was fantastic. So I've put in a description that should produce something at least approximating an OMD song. It's not gonna be as good or perfect, but let's see what it produces. Now it is possible if you are a paid subscriber, you could click here on use style reference and upload a song, in this case, an OMD song that I want to not copy, but kind of mimic the style. For now, I'll just go back to describe your song and let's move on to lyrics. I'm gonna have Udio auto-generate the lyrics to this song, but it is possible to customize the lyrics. I'll try that toward the end of this video, but for now, I'll stick with auto-generate and create. And let's hear what Udio produces. Okay, Udio has finished creating the song, and actually it's two songs. One's called Lifting Up the Dream, but of course I could edit that and name it something else. Another one's called Hold Me Close. So let's listen, at least in part, to these two songs. I'll just click on the title for the first song and click the play button. So that's an interesting song. It does remind me in some ways of OMD, but also distinct from OMD. So I'll click back and let's listen to the second song. Click play. Okay, another song that reminds me a bit of OMD. It's the same style of music. Now, let's say that this is one that I want to keep and I want to maybe work on it in the future, maybe adding more elements to it or making other changes. I might want to click here where it says create and choose to extend this song because you'll notice that this is actually a pretty short sound clip. It's like 32 seconds long. So I'm gonna click create, extend, and extend. Now I also need to go down here and decide where to extend this song. Do I want to add an intro, add a section, after what's already been produced, or before, or add an outro? I'll just add a section, auto-generate the additional lyrics, and extend. Now to get my extended song, all I need to do is click here in the upper right, to go back to my creations and you'll see that I have various versions of this song that have been extended to longer songs. I'm gonna fast forward to the new portion of this song and click play. Okay, so we have some new content in this song. Now in the free accounts, you're limited to, I believe it's three extended song clips per day, but that's still pretty good, I think. 
Now, before I export this song for, again, additional editing if I want in another program, but before I download or export this song, I want to point out that I can click here on Edit Song Details to change up the name, put in a description if I want to, and adjust some cover art. If I click Edit Cover Art, I could either generate some cover art using AI, or I could upload my own cover art for the song. I'll go with this AI-generated cover art. I'll click Save. It's updated and I will now download this beautiful emotional song to my computer. Now this song can be downloaded either as an mp3 or a WAV file if all you care about is the audio or if you prefer you can generate a video version. That's what I'm going to do in this case. So I'll click download. It's finished downloading. Blowing lights in the and there's the video version of the song that I composed using Udio. Now I'm going to close out of that and go back to Udio. I'll put in the same description for the song, but this time instead of auto-generating the song, I can click here on custom and Udio produces two song clips. That is a keeper for sure. So I'll click download. This time I'll save it as an MP3 audio file only, and I'll click download. If you'd like a copy of this fantastic song, look in the description below the video, and I may post it there. For now, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. If you want to learn more about creating AI songs, watch my other video on this topic that shows a competitor to Udio called Super. It's also excellent and has some features that are better, some maybe not quite as good. These are both powerful AI music tools.